the US banned Nvidia from selling chips in China, but now Nvidia is selling them again on purpose. Welcome back to Joe's Not Worried About It, where we turn market anxiety into golden investment opportunities. I'm Joe, and I'm based right here in Austin, Texas, the new tech's wild west. Nvidia is back in China. After months of export bans, the US quietly reversed course, and Nvidia is shipping chips once again. But it's not the usual chips. Oh no, no. China's getting a special version called the H20. Here's what that means. H20 isn't built to train massive AI models. It's optimized for inference, the stuff that happens after the model is trained. It can run chatbots, image generators, and AI assistants. Just not build them from scratch. That makes it weaker in theory, but plenty powerful in practice. And China's buying fast, and I mean fast. Nvidia just ordered another 300,000 H20 chips to meet demand. Inventory is now between 600,000 and 700,000 units. Why? Because China is still 13% of NVIDIA's revenue and is home to half of the world's AI developers. Half of the world's AI developers. Cutting them off wasn't sustainable. Not for business and not for Washington. And the truth is, the ban didn't work. In just three months, Chinese buyers smuggled over 1 billion worth of banned GPUs. All of them routed through Southeast Asia's black markets. Because when demand is so strong, people, especially countries, will find a way. So Washington did the math. It's better to sell under control than to watch an underground market for Form. But there's more. This shift happened right after trade chalks over rare earth minerals. And it came after Nvidia's Jensen Huang spent time in DC pushing hard for policy change. Some say this is a strategic leak. It keeps China dependent on US tech, but behind the curve. Others say it's a 